Malo Alele Talofa Lava Bolavanaki Kia Orana Kia Ora Kato Katoa and uh, no my Heidi my Ki Puke Kohi Navigation Home Stadium Day Four Penultimate Day here at the Pacifica Youth Cup for 2024. Great to have your company here on Sky Sport as we look forward to another fantastic day of uh, rugby league and uh, a real match up to get things underway here in the men's premiership side of the draw. Aotearoa New Zealand Māori undefeated and uh, top of the table against Tonga who with a win today here can guarantee their passage through to the finals. If uh, they don't get the points they have to rely on the other game in the draw between Samoa and the Cook Islands to see how things will stack up at the end of the day. Joining me, Jeff McTage in commentary again. Pleasure to welcome in former Kiwi, Willie Poaching. Good to see you again, Willie, and uh, certainly this game has plenty riding on it for Tonga. Yeah, good morning, Jeff, and thanks for having us. And it's been a wonderful uh, tournament so far. This is day four, and we're getting to the business end of the tournament now, and as you said, a wonderful way to start. Everything riding on this game. I know Samuel will be watching nervously. The fate of their tournament depends on the result of this game. Tonga, if they win this and are able to be successful in getting the win over the Māori here, they certainly uh, cement their place in the final. A loss, then they're watching Samoa, and Samoa are chasing the points in the next game when they play the Cook Islands. But the Māori, being the form team of the tournament, they're already in the final. Uh, I don't expect them to hold back. They'll be wanting to go into that final tomorrow on the back of some good form. So we're in for a cracker here. Cooler morning here in Pukakoi. It's been a cracking three days of weather and uh, I'm sure these cooler conditions will be welcome to the players. And a long day of uh, rugby league ahead. 20 degrees will be the high light to breeze here. Set for this one. Tonga, New Zealand Māori.
it should be an absolute beauty here to kick off day four of the Pacifica Youth Cup. Ponga, New Zealand Māori. New Zealand Māori wins over the Cook Island, 70 points to nil. And uh, over Samoa by 30 points to 14. Tonga, a draw with Samoa, 16 points apiece. And a win over the Cook Islands, 20 points to nil. And sees them here needing points to secure their passage through over this impressive Aotearoa New Zealand Māori side. And uh, he's been in great form. Look out for the man in the number two jersey, Mason Barber. Willie, he's been outstanding. Yeah, they've got pace to burn across the park and against Samoa a couple of occasions when, on the kick returns. That pace was evident on the kick return. Burning the defenders of Samoa on the outside. I think the most impressive thing about this Māori side is, as you mentioned, the 14 points they've conceded in the whole tournament. Uh, they're talking about their pace and their attack, but they're a team that can defend as well. They're hard to break down. They work hard for each other. A real mark of a champion side and the coaching staff for the Māori and the Māori supporters will be hoping that's the case in this game this morning. Pucky Parkinson is our referee. we go first match of the day here at navigation homes stadium and the early touch for new zealand maori just outside of their team and russell defensively for gibson has been very good too well, they come looking for some space and they straighten it again. Like this is Toby Gibson, the vice captain here. Toward the 40, the driving defence, trying to drive him back. Tonga. They reset again. Off they go. Arlington shifting it away. it back and off they go once more Darlington trying to split through them and find a fucking support he's got good ball with him the big man charging forward and up over the 40 excellent play New Zealand Māori now they're trying to find the width and they're going to score the opening try are they yes they are brilliant defense on Ricky Tera to hold him up over the line he looked for all money to have that one heading to the ground and it's an excellent defence, Tonga. And it was Mark Anthony, Anthony Sikuvea with the tackle around the ball, coming in off the wing, stopping Wikatera from getting the ball down. Great scramble, great urgency. But nice build-up in the attack for the Māori, trying to get a little bit of width off the ruck, opening up the defenders in the defensive line around that area of the Tongan side, and then picking a hole. And it was Josh Kopua, the recipient of the break, charging down the middle. Nice start for the Māoris, already setting out their intentions. Brilliant start, but they'll take heart in that defensive effort there. Tonga has uh, come on and carts it forward. He's looking for a tidy set to start things off here. He's uh, Panasua, the captain. Another kick on the 30. And easy enough, a chance to run it back. Toyava Ward smashed in contact and they drive him back to good strength shown here. Tonga. It was a great kick right to the corner from Tonga, but even better, their chase. Aggressive on the right edge with the middle chased up. And dished up Barbara on the carry. physicality again early here. Both these teams are going to warm into the work and 
Find a wee bit of rhythm. There's another carry by the big man. He made the break, Josh Corpor. Just making sure they wrap his arm. Just looking to free the ball, marching forward at will. And off they go, allows a bit of speed out of dummy half for Darlington. Off he goes, excellent run. Tawati Aurangi Darlington. And just shy of the 10 here for New Zealand Māori. Maybe this time, Ricky Tena spinning around them. Now he puts the head down again. Another brilliant effort defensively. Tonga. Wonderful scrambling, urgent defence on their goal line. Getting underneath the ball and Wikitera tw twice. He's wondering what he's got to do to get the ball down. But great play there from Darlington. That's twice now he's got out of dummy half. Mark is not set. Quick play the balls and see if his teammates can read and push up and take advantage of his breaks. Now here's a break for Paya. Twice now for Tonga. That repelled the early attack from New Zealand Māori. As Fomaone played away over the 40. Wrapped up by Kopua. A direct run by Panasua. Doesn't like the treatment from Josh Kopua. Off they go again. Straight at the centre. Big shot coming in. Get some of that, says Tirangi Walker. He's got him for a penalty, but that was a big shot. Lord, right shoulder launching himself to Uwurangi Walker with the shot of the day, starting us off wonderful. And the Tongans with this penalty, they get their first chance to attack the goal line of the New Zealand Maori. Let's we'll see what they have. Not the best kick to find touch. About 30 metres out. They can start their raid, see what they have up their sleeve, see what they've planned against this great defensive line of the Māori. It is Ngutau with the first carry forward. Loading up down the left, but they come away to the right here. Good low tackle had to be made on Palele. A little bit of speed here. And some work to work with some room. Sikuvia cutting back on the angle. Well, Tachi's got a forward pass. But we saw one yesterday in the game with New Air. Early doors. This looks like it. Oh, that's. Oh, I can't see much wrong with that. Out of the hands. Unfortunately for the Māori, the ball's come out of his hands backwards. It's half tough call for Tonga. And that could have been the opening try for Mark Anthony Sikuvia. Very tough call, certainly. That's twice now, both teams, three times now, both teams have almost gone to scoring. Yeah, Looking dangerous, both teams, when they're attacking the goal lines. Certainly back out of the hands, but as it stands, it's with the New Zealand Māori. Our first real opportunity to move it and attack the Lion Tonga. They'll be pleased with their efforts there. But now it's... Uh, do you have a chance to just get themselves out of trouble here. And they look good on that play, obviously. The scoring play, the close to scoring. But it was the play before when they went to Palale and he gets to the halfback, the third man defender, and the Māori's just couldn't quite adjust and getting around the corner enough. Tonga had nice shape. He had some options to play at. Threw the cutout ball to the winger, and that's how the space was created. Some keys there for Tonga to play, move the ball, and then try and look to keep going again. Tutu Davis. For the Māori. Report. Pass deep and look to get their game going again here through Marsh. Marsh trying to play the ball back in field, but. Uh, the touching's flag is up on this near side. Yeah, Huck and Marsh trying to take the Tongans on on the outside. 
Martin standing on the left-hand edge. He needed to put the ball in his left arm, give, us a, give himself a right-hand fend, carrying the ball in his right arm, gave him nothing. They were able to force him into touch. So turning that lost opportunity into some positive D, Tonga. And the coaches will be happy with their transitions. Spivia is wrapped up by the Māori captain, Kappa and Horgan. Molly Horgan again calls for offside. Where they come once more, Donga. Big fan for Moroni. He's taken care of on the halfway line. This one, so mucky, so mucky. And out of Nelson College, powerful player as they go quickly. Filo. Now they're getting on the front foot. Just taking a bit of a snooze there, Josh Pulpua. In the centre of navigation, Holmes as the kick comes for Donna. And the ball is loose. Almost an absolute disaster there for New Zealand Māori almost caught napping i think it was haku marsh and riko toyava ward the halfback for the maoris bit of confusion between the two of them on the reception and both of them getting in each other's way couldn't take it cleanly enough they get a touch to it goes into touch tonga get to attack again here they come once more so mucky direct runner of the ball there's some space. Defence will have to be sharp here to shut out Tonga. So powerful. Look to go through Otunuku. Holding him upright, just short of the line here. Now perhaps a wee bit more depth on the plate for Tonga. He'll take them on himself. Sonny Lesala. And they come away here. Pickering puts a wee kick across. There's a player unmarked on the outside in Sikuvia, but Purcell held the pass. They come again. Hurt Pickering, here's the kick. Away to the left edge, climbing into the sky. Tonga keeping it alive brilliantly. And it goes back to one. They get another chance to attack. Fresh set, Tonga. Under the pump now, big time. New Zealand Māori. Hanga Leti. Now they reset once more. Plenty of options, Somaki, Somaki ran the angle back, but to ground goes Sua right in front of the posts. And the man out of Marist as they come away again. Somaki, Somaki, little basketball pop over the top. Excellent play here, Tonga, as they look for the opening try of this game, Purcell. And this time, it's New Zealand Māori who come up with a big defensive play and goal. But Both the pressure teams. not over yet. Both teams have been excellent when their goal line defence has been called upon. Showing some desperation. Last gasp. Getting under the ball. Stopping each other. Having yeah. to weather repeat sets now. Thalmaki. Thalmaki. Doing his best to hold him back is Kupua. Philo. And plays it away. Sua, oh, just bobbles out. Good front on defence. Just a slight moment of hesitation. Wasn't sure whether to pass the ball and didn't really commit to the run. Got loose in the carry. A disappointing end for Tonga, but they can take some heart in that their kicking game is really troubling the New Zealand Māori side. And this is when they're dangerous. Good shot to Fu Hupa to, uh, to the ball. Break free, and this is the result. They've weathered repeat sets on their line, New Zealand Māori. And now they get a chance to piggyback off the penalty downfield. And when you've had to defend your goal line for a couple of sets and you're repelled to the opposition and you get a big positive win like a penalty like that, such a massive boost for your side. You can see the New Zealand Māori side high-fiving. They've gone to work when they've had to. Got the rewards through getting the penalty. And now they can turn that defence right into attack in a good position. Now this is how it stacks up. New Zealand Māori through. We'll uh, 
Ponga join them. A win here will guarantee their place. Otherwise, it uh, come down to that last game in uh, the round robin between Samoa and the Cook Islands. the ball. He was the man who said no way on his line. I tell you, Tefil Darling, uh, Tefil Hopper was the man who shut it down at the other end of the field. So just a couple of moments here for... You can see what they're trying to do the New Zealand Māori when they go to that right edge, trying to get Tefil Hopper straight on Riley Tavoli. The standoff for the, for the Tongan side, trying to line up that big man on the small man. Just trying to get get him to go at him as much as possible. Tiring out the ball carrier, the ball player for the Tongan side. And try and get the big man across. Yes, it takes. Look at Tate. Oh, Māori, Darlington pleading with referee Parkinson. If they come again, Wapoku had a good tournament. Certainly generated... Yeah, front football for this Māori side. Now Walker almost managed to scoot his way through. The football. Not this time, say the Tongans. And they've committed a penalty because all Walker's run around behind the ruck and obstructed play. But he has been, he's been great off the bench. He's been a real impact, all Poko. For the New Zealand Māori side, that time just missed time in the run. But the Tongans were more than up for that. I tell you, there's some real feeling just in front of our commentary position here in the crowd. The stand is starting to rock. Join this one. Still no score, but there's some real feeling out there. And from that position, that's a great kick. To find touch 40 metres out from the goal line. Clears all the pressure. This has been a wonderful opening quarter for day four of the PYC. And the referee, again the New Zealand Māori committing a penalty. Looks like the markers went square. Tonga playing quick. Finding some urgency. They've got some real life about them. Some real flair and attack both sides, but credit defensively too. Māori strong on their line. Tonga denying the party Wiki Tera a couple of times earlier in the match. It's the old adage too, isn't it? Really defensive win your championships, but uh, Tonga know that they need to score some points to try and secure their place in the final. Tumaki Somaki drops it away. Tonga Leti. 100% and the players I like it, the big guys are moving the ball around, they're showing a mix, good blend of when to run, when to pass and they're out the corner and there it is, that is when to pass wheeling it around and scoring the try Elijah Baya for Donga and aren't they stuck and so they should be, it's been a great start for Tonga defensively, the fans jumping over the fence, all celebrating and well they should and it was the tap play when they went out to Somaki Somaki to the middle of the park. You can see the defensive line of the New Zealand Māori. And Dante Tefil Hopper needed to be up in the line and allow his winger to get out a bit wider because they were fragmented and broken. It gave Tonga the overlap. And Elijah Pyre says thank you very much for the space and runs it in and opens the scoring for the Tongan side and a well-deserved play. They missed one opportunity earlier. They've taken the opportunity on the left side. Well done. They're denied by a forward pass earlier on in the half down the right edge. But uh, there's no denying Tonga this time. Elijah Payer, the finish. Good try.
And I love it when they move the ball. I love it when they, the ball goes through the hands and there's a tendency, and being a tendency in the tournament to want to crash over and use your big fellas as the Māori try to with Upoko on the goal line. But they're, they're skillful enough and they've got to back themselves to move the ball just as Tonga did then. There's plenty of rewards there if they do. And extra reward too. Excellent conversion. And so Tonga after weathering a bit of an early storm from New Zealand Māori to try to Elijah Bayer. Tyrone have Pickering. The extras and they lead by six to nil here. Eleven remain in the first half. found themselves behind really at all in this uh, tournament. No, they're in unfamiliar territory, the New Zealand Māori, being behind on the scoreboard. And see what their, uh, their mindset is, and see how their mentality is to approaching this and being behind for the first time and chasing the lead. There might be a bit of uh, light rain falling here too. That's it. Uh, Pukakoi, in fact, there is. They're just making conditions a little bit greasier throughout the game. Ball control will be crucial. And that's the first test of the conditions. It has been hot and they've been spoiled for dry weather. All the rain come out, play a big part. Asua plays it back. Puku just in the road as the kick will come. Pickering sending this one towering into the sky and it's been put down and there is that test of the conditions, the greasy ball and just can't contain it, Toyab Award. And that's three times now, they've troubled the New Zealand Māori with their kicking game. Fantastic kick from Hurt Pickering to get it high, but again, Haku Marsh just getting in confusion I think it was Mason Barber the fullback getting in each other's way just getting in his eye line and not able to take a clean clean catch to the ball and great reward for the Tongans smart kick great kick got some great height on it you're going to play to these conditions okay, can they they can pay for the mistake here again Looking for that left edge option here. Tonga Lesala is going to free the arms with a very, very good tackle by the Māori captain, Ko Kappa. And it's a volley. The standoff just shifts this one away. Pahulu taken down by Tate. Just inside the team here for Tonga. Sua, captain, out the back door. Why they come to the right? Valele. Drag down. Tonga again. A little kick. We tried to get it through at least. Was hurt Pickering, but Puku has done a good job there. Yeah, he's done a great job. Ricky Ricky Tenner, Tenner, driven back. Real venom early in the set defensively, Tonga, and right on their line, the Māori. Tonga just in a manhandling move here, mood here. An outstanding defensive set. This is tackle four. Maybe trying to make them pay and split them. But a counter-attacking footy is Kappa. Is aggressive with the ball in hand, fending it well. He's a guy who can get them on the front foot, but he passes away at the back again. Corpua, ball flung backwards, just... Starting to break down in the set here. The Māori. The few hopper though, straightens it. And that's it. That's huge defence from Tonga. Great defence. I know they got split on play four. But the pressure on the goal line, the aggressiveness, the hunger to keep the Māori inside the 10. And then on last play, pressure on the kicker. Forcing the, the New Zealand Māori to scramble. Fantastic place to turn it over. Forward. 
So, you know, it's Tonga who just make a mistake in these conditions. It looks like that man, Ulpok, was the one in the tackle, forcing the error. He came up with the try-saving play on the kick. And he's been really good during this tournament off the bench. Had a real impact carrying the ball. And a couple of really good defensive plays from him. Tia feeds it for the Māori. Kappa has got uh, Horgan with him on the outside, but he's putting on a bit of footwork here. Nifty on his feet. Go Kappa, but that one is uh, loose in contact, so... And a few each way now. And uh, we said it. Well, either the conditions would play a part, and already, since it's been raining the last five or so minutes, it's really changed the complexity of the game. It's changing the style of the game. The footwork that some of these nippy players have been able to use the last couple of days. You see some of them just losing their footwork, losing their footing. And the ball control even more so becomes important. When the ball's slippery, how you go into contact, how you protect the ball. Whilst you want some urgency to play the ball quick, it's vitally important you come up and play the ball and focus on doing that first. Coming up quickly out of the defensive line here. The Māori trying to fashion a shot. Trying to get back Purcell as Hilo fires it away. Ohulu. Tamaki still Maki. He's looked good, hasn't he? Strong with ball in hand again here this morning. Under five to play in this first half. And it's Tonga by six. By way of a try to Elijah Paya. Now the kick will come. Hurt Pickering. He's had a couple of good ones in this first half. It's well diffused though. We have award. You can see what their mindset is now, Tonga. Just pin the ball down and be aggressive as you can defensively. Two solid tackles. Got some reward out of the last set because of their aggression. The Māori, when they started the game and they were going past to get some width, finding themselves into in some trouble here going one out. Comes across again. The capper. off a good short ball. Tate will play it back. Here comes the kick. Good take behind him. And just slipping on the park is a player. Trying to scoot down the outside and probably wouldn't be recommending wingers flirt too much with the touchline when it's wet. You don't want to be dragged or sliding into touch. Keep things centre field. You can see to Iwarangi Walker, he's already got one shot. He's just chasing hit after hit here. Yeah, they managed to get the ball out wide to that edge and find some space. This time he'll come back, Compton Purcell. And two ball. High kick again, just testing Maui in this. Crazy conditions. And they'll get possession as well. Tyrone hurt Pickering. Tonga's number seven. He's been outstanding with his kicking game, his positioning of his kicks, the style of kicks, the height. But again, the Maoris, two of them getting in their way, not allowing their mates to take a clean catch. Wonderful kick from Hurt Pickering. His kicking game's been on point. That's the fourth time. 
that the Māori have come up with an error off, a, off one of his kicks. And the referee looks like he's uh, given a penalty, is he? For offside. Certainly making the most of uh, the conditions, aren't they? With the kicking options, Willie, it's been pretty impressive from Tonga. They've played the game perfectly. They've kicked well. And it's simple. They've kicked well. They've defended really aggressively. Restricted the Maori's yardage. And they're finding themselves in the field position, which is what you hope for. And I'm sorry, I, I thought he gave a penalty, but he's given the turnover, as you would expect from the knock-on from the New Zealand Maori. And only conceded 14 points, the Maori coming into this game. 104, and at the moment, they're looking at trailing, heading into the break for the first time in this competition. Passes away, good thump of defence on Suli Pahulu. And he yeah. can't control it either. But uh, they want a penalty. And I think it was Tufil Hopper who just had a hand on the ball. He's trying to bite off too much. And maybe some signs of frustration for them for the Māori side. As you say, first time they've been behind. They're going, looks like they're going to go into half time trailing test of these young men's uh, mental resilience and what their response is like yeah as you'd expect with the time ticking down Huda four seconds away Tonga look to take the two points and they'll try and go into half time 8-0 up so this kick from Hurt Pickering is kicking out of hand has been superb and we'll see what his kicking is like off the ground here he kicked one, one beauty from the sideline So all New Zealand Māori to start this game, they were called on to make a couple of desperate defensive plays. They came up with a couple of buttes to deny tries, a couple of, couple of tries at least to Taipuri Wikitera Tonga. And then one ruled out, forward pass of their own down the right edge, eventually crossing through Elijah Paya. And now Tyrone Hurt Pickering, an opportunity to add a couple more which he's done. So certainly unfamiliar territory for this Aotearoa New Zealand Māori side. Tonga, good for their lead at the break here as they look to book a place in the grand final tomorrow. They lead it by eight here at Navigation Homes. understand that our customer needs their plant and equipment up, running and available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Using only world class product from the likes of Bridgestone and Yokohama, there is no compromise for your valuable machines. Our attention to detail and precision is second to none. It's this customer experience that separates Pertec from the pack. Pertec will keep you operating. Welcome back to Pukakuhi, where we had a great game on our hands. Only an 8-0 scoreline, but uh, it's 
It's been a cracking contest. Tonga the lead. They know that uh, they can get through this. They'll book a place in the decider. And they'll do it all again. They'll run it back with this New Zealand Māori side. They don't get the points here. Then they'll have to rely on the last game of uh, the round and the premiership between Samoa and the Cook Islands. But as we talked about, Willie, after some good defence on their own goal line, eventually they found their way through. Yeah, and some great hands from Riley Tavoli out to Ofamooni. And some quick hands from Ofamooni out to his wingers. Sikuvaya, he puts it down and opens the scoring. After an opportunity that was waved away for the Tongan side on the right edge by the touchy for a forward pass. They stuck to their guns. Their defence has been outstanding this first half. And as you mentioned at the beginning of half time, the Tongans 8 0 and good for the eight point lead. It is a tight game, but they have just edged their opposition for field position, for enthusiasm, for energy, only slightly. But the 8 0, whilst it only look, might look like 8 0, it's significant. It's significant into the, the outlook of this tournament. And Samoa, will, whilst they're warming up, will be looking over their shoulder intently because there are, their hopes of being in the final hinge massively on this game. And Tonga, they just want to walk into the final with the win, try and hold on to this 8 0 lead. Well, the Māori went close early. Taipari Wiki Tera. Only some desperate defence holding him up. They could have been two tries up, really. And then they got close once more through Joey Opoko. He was denied at the front door in front of the posts. And then once the rain started to fall here, some excellent tactical picking on display. Tyron hit Pickering could see that. He said, OK, well, you deal with the conditions. And that led to a few errors, a few mistakes from the Māori side. Opened the door in terms of field position for Donga. And they've just managed to control the game. Game management's been very good. Another half to come, and on top of the table for no reason. This Māori side can certainly move it. Score tries. Mason Barber, dangerous as ever. Just like the Māori when they started the game, moving the ball, trying to get out to the B and C defender, just a bit wider off the ruck. I think it's a bit better ploy for the Tongans to use if they can get a bit wider, use their big fellas. Oh, just charge straight through. Just like that, you called it. Willie using their big fellas, and here he is again. Pyre! Desperate defence on him, Molly Morgan. What a first up run to start the second half for Tonga. Now Nungoto. Quick try of the ball needed. Tupo shifting it away to the right. Pickering once more. Lissala. Players coming across for the Māori. Sikuvia taking 11 metres out. Come across again, Paulu. this time, real rev up. And half time for Tonga, say, so, okay, go out and let's add to this lead. At the moment, playing some good footy. Just trying to square them up. Riley to volley. Slow play of the ball. Chance for the Māori to reset, trying to Work it off his feet, puts the kick up. Hurt Pickering again, work to do in goal for the Māori. And that's his first error kicking wise. Hurt Pickering just a touch too deep. But what a start for Tonga. Straight off the kickoff. Tia Tia. And the Māori. Playing it back is. Marsh and he gets it off to this man, Josh Kupua. It's a real handful to deal with. Waka Tate is waiting at first receiver. They go low on him. And 
quick play of the ball off of the rack spinning Toby Gibson the vice captain out of the tackle and down on the 30 to play it back here up very quickly the kick will come Callum Ward and it's there for the money they're gonna get one and it's the man who started and he'll finish it Callum Ward gets them on the board and I just mentioned the Maoris when they started the game going with a bit of width trying to get the ball a little bit wider on that set it was all route one straight down the middle dummy half getting out tying up the markers finding the yards punching the holes through behind the ruck for the Tongan side kick up and this time it's the Tongans bit of confusion between Paya and Lisala and gratefully taken by the New Zealand Maoris Callum Ward he takes the ball, puts it down right next to the post, opens the scoring. 8 4 kick to come. Game on, we're back into it. Crowd are loving it. Early morning exercise routine, and uh, yeah, the crowd are starting to rock here. Yeah, a bit of frustration for the, for the Tonga. Tom inside after that wonderful start, busting them open, getting down the other end, and then go 100 metres on your first defensive set. And they've got to respond with a better one off the back of this kickoff. Sends it through, converts the try to this man. Brilliant play, individual excellence. Sent it up, snatched it out of the sky, put it down, and he got them on the board. 8-6, it's Tonga's lead. The penalty to hurt Pickering, the difference. to see how the Maldives respond and what sort of set they construct off the back of that try. We found some joy, as I said, going behind the ruck, just picking it off, playing simple, upping the tempo of the game, hurting the Tongan defence with it. We'll see if they go with that again. And the response from the Tongans, whether they decide to tighten up, get numbers in the tackle. Hey, Pickering, deep kickoff. The Māori through tight. Boom. Crowd enjoyed that. And Barber playing it away. Kokua. Well, you can just feel it. The physicality has just gone up. The aggression. One or two notches here. Lovely play by the Māori again. When he hit, gets it away. Barber just losing his footing. Oh, the greasy turf still on here, though. When he hit up, excellent play. And pleading with Parkinson, they'll get their wish. And it was Mungaro Mark who got out of dummy half. An outstanding scoot. And play to the left of Tepairo, when he hit up. And you see here, beats the markers, gets through. Wasn't the easiest of catches. Presence of mind to offload, get the ball out to Mason Barber, and he was cut short. Tongans trying to slow the play, the ball down, and in doing so, commit the sin and one in the sin bin. So down to 12 Tonga, but still they come forward, and the ball loose. It's 
And then number seven, Matt Pickering will take his seat. So the advantage now, the extra man with New Zealand Māori. But the ball with Tonga, and I'll take that for the time being, just settle things down here. Scintillating break up field. By Mangaroa Mark and almost finished off, albeit for the greasy turf, Sinbaba. And the Tongans got possession back after a great shot from Bernard Ngutau. He just said, I've set my mate off. I'm going to get the ball back for us and rock the ball carrier from the Māoris. The game plan doesn't have to change too much for Tonga, even though they're down to 12 men. Going to keep playing simple, kicking responsibilities. Now falls on Riley Tavoli. He's got to back up what Hurt Pickering did in the first half. And just keep things simple. Here's Wikitira. Getting around the defence once more. Winiera. Back fan. He's strong. He's got plenty of power. Looking for the ball back on the inside. And it goes forward. He'd done so much hard work. De Pairo Winiera to keep that alive. Twinkle toes on the chalk. Because they're down to 12 men, there are spaces somewhere. And more so on the edges. They'll get some more chances whilst the, the man is in the sin bin. And Winiera, Winiera with, the with the left hand offload back in field. Couldn't quite get the purchase because of the slipperiness of the ball. Couldn't quite get the grip. And ball floats forward. There was a moment there I thought the referee was going to play on. But Tonga get position now. And look to them to take their time. Run the clock down until they're until uh, Hurt Pickering gets back on the field out of the Simbin. And just look. Marty to keep pressuring here. Chase up off his line. No camper. And they're arriving. And good numbers now. They're going to try and drag the man back in goal. Very, very close. The defensive set so far here. Tonga just looking to use some of their big men. So mucky. So mucky. To get them out of trouble here. Calling for it. This is to invite McEwen. I agree, a great defensive set from the Māori, great response to that. It is equally a poor set constructed by Tonga. Here's the kick to Volley. Oh, just getting in front and away from Sikuvea. Of course, no Tyrone Hurt Pickering on the park at the moment. So an adjustment for Tonga and almost. I don't know if they're going to call that a knock-on by the New Zealand Māori first. Or whether it went backwards, the referee's having a discussion with the touchy, and it looks like it's gone backwards off the Māori, and then gone forward off Tonga. Not a bad kick there from uh, Riley Tavoli to put it in behind, a bit of depth, a bit more depth. It's probably the way to go for them. But a great defensive set from the Māori nonetheless. Marsh. Bench is so key here. And now uh, just losing it forward. There's Josh Kupua. There's Donga Philo. We're going to counter attack here. Looking for a quick play of the ball. If they can get one. Sua, the captain, drops it off for Palele. Just a slight hint of dewiness and wetness on the ball already making it so much more difficult to what, it's ha what it has been the last couple of days. Players need to think about the protection of the ball as they go into contact. Dilea Filo finding a runner again. This time it's Fangaletti. Building nicely here. Salmaki, Salmaki on a bulldoze his way through and free the arm. He's right there, Pucky Parkinson. And he says, no, just short. Way they come once more, flying on it, trying to split through them. Up for Mahoney, last tackle, Tonga. Lissala drawing something up. 
Might have a wee dig himself, puts the kick through, and it's going to go too far. And too much. Um, Riley Tavoli was waiting for the ball, but some line speed and some pressure from the New Zealand Māori for Sione Lisala to get out of dummy half. Couldn't quite just touch the ball enough. Overcooked it, went dead. You get to the kick. Regardless, they've got to defend us now. And not many uh, New Zealand Māori's putting their hands up. They need to find some life. Okay, Kappa wanted the initial carry in that set. He's got it now, playing it back just short of the halfway line as they go again. He's been brilliant. His mark, Mangaro Mark, saw the incision he made earlier, which almost led to a try. Another one for them. Good meters. Out of dummy half again. Korpua just holding up the ball. Tia Tia. And they get across again. It's been batted down and forward. Another set coming up for New Zealand Māori here. There's Setutu Davis. Fending strong. He gets it down. Surely that's on the line. Excellent work from the big man. And all he can do is put his head in his hands. Heard Pickering and watch on. Because the Māori take the lead. Just as I mentioned, they looked like they were down on energy. The New Zealand Māori coming out of the yard and set. Mangaro Amar comes up with a wonderful run out of dummy half. Splits them, puts them in sixes and sevens as the defensive line of Tonga. Then moving the ball out, they get fortuitous with a back to one. But once it got into the hands of Noah Hetutu Davis, there was no stopping the big fella. Three, four defenders all have a go at him. Too strong, under the sticks. Pucky Parkinson right on the spot. Awards the try for the first time in the game. New Zealand Māori take the lead. This is a crack up. 15 minutes to go. Still plenty to, ahead of us. And Tonga are well within this fight. Well, they've been made to pay big time for losing. So I won't hurt Pickering. Taking full advantage New Zealand Māori, but notice a slight change I think Willie in the tempo and some of the sets out of dummy half you, you mentioned some of the work of Mangaro Mark he's been very good putting him on the front foot and in the end it's the big men finishing the job on this occasion now ahead to Davis reading the opportunities and the times to run out of dummy half is one thing but then having the pace and the footwork to take advantage of those opportunities is one is another and he's got that today he's been great he's read the times to run even off a slower play the ball and the markers weren't quite set there were some holes around the a b position just took off gassed it and they just couldn't handle him two or three times today he's got out and his team is starting to pick up on his his moments to run and what he's reading and finding some some chances to get off his shoulder and support and make even more of his half breaks. Another one for the captain. Kahu Kappa converts the try to Noah Hetutu Davis. And it's the Māori now. By four. Just got to try and find the resistance and keep the New Zealand Māori out until Hurt, pa, um, Hurt Pickering gets back on the field and get themselves back on numerical parity and get back to 13 men. He's been the architect of so much of their good work, Tyrone Hurt Pickering. Be some work to do once they are restored to the full complement as the try scorer. Hit Tutu Davis, he's pumped, isn't he? He's saying, let's go. And shoulder charge there. And I think it's uh, Salmaki Salmaki not wrapping the shoulders around. And the referee's got to pick them off for the shoulder charge. And you love it. You love the fact that these young fellas are willing to throw their body into their work. 
and just come up with these heroic plays with some technique. We've got to get it right. There's a reason why we've uh, thrown the shoulder charge out for safety reasons. And they can still get on the big shots and pull off some big hits, as we've seen, by using the correct technique. There he is again. This time he makes sure he gets it right. So Maki, so Maki on it to Davis. He's just on the ground there is uh, Tilia Filo. And, uh, not getting up either, so keep an eye on him in the backfield. At the moment, though, undermanned by two. Tonga comes forward, though. They will have possession. Maki Parkinson. He's seen that. There should be a stoppage in play here. He's up on his feet. Another one of those moments where Mangaroa Mark just gets out of dummy half. Picks off the markers this time. Rather than trying to take the run, he draws the defenders in. And this is where we see him getting injured. Oh. Just cops a knee on the face there. Perhaps a bit unlucky there, Tonga. But they've got the ball on the 40. And he's back yeah, at his station. Tilia Filo. And Tonga are back to 13 men. Hurt Pickering's back on. That's a big positive for Tonga. Back to 13. Under 12 minutes to play. It's New Zealand Māori by four. And there's Tonga. Tonga Leti. Still on his feet, still moving forward. Very difficult to bring down. Waka Tate does in the end going low. Now here's a carry. So mucky, so mucky, winding up. And big contact coming in to feel Hopper. Another carry, Fangaletti this time. Right where they want to be. Last one coming up here for Tonga. He's back on the park. Hurt Pickering puts it up and trying to pick them off. With a big play, Tonga. But they just managed to hold on on their line, New Zealand Māori. Great kick again from Hurt Pickering. Gets back on the field, goes straight back into his work. Puts it right on the spot, puts some pressure on the New Zealand Māori. Tonga want to play this aggressive game. New Zealand Māori need to try and keep things wide and play this with this pace. Horgan. Almost found a way through. They reset again as Kappa. So good on his feet, but he's lost control of the ball. I'm not sure if he's saying Tonga knocked it out. It looks like maybe it will be New Zealand Māori ball, as he's saying here. No control. Yeah, Tonga get the ball. Tonga get it. Yeah. One of those, I'm one of those. In those situations, I put the responsibility on the ball carrier. And you've got the onus to control the ball. Whilst he may have had a swipe at it, you've still got to control the ball. So he's lost it for me. But it's uh, still one of those grey areas in our game. Come again, Hurt Pickering back on the park here. Tonga Ono. Masua. Panasua, the captain, to the 40. Under nine to play here as uh, Tonga have to seal a spot in tomorrow's grand final. Māori already through. I don't want to have to rely on the final game, Tonga, between Samoa and the Cook Islands. He's been great for Tonga, Somaki, Somaki. Throwing himself defensively, carrying as strong as he could. Yeah, Pickering dancing on his feet. Last one here for Tonga. Lovely kick and goal, and they're going to get a repeat set. Very good work. And again, the difference he's made since he's been back. Hurt Pickering. 
and on that occasion he picked the right type of kick. Put some good weight on it, put it in the end goal. They didn't need to try and come up with the try. There's still seven and a half minutes left. They've got plenty of time. They've got to drain the opposition of energy. Try and stay down here. If they come away with three of these until they score, have the patience, have the control. Smart kick hurt Pickering again. up Ngutau flying onto it and up into New Zealand Māori traffic Hurt Pickering has to try and unlock something down the right edge Purcell Compton Purcell the ground 15 meters out for the second Sua. right where they want to be right in front of the posts might have a go himself here, Filo. Ball loose, excellent defence, thumping defence. Outstanding, urgent defence from the New Zealand Māori. It was never the play to go from dummy half. With some pressure here, they turn the defence into attack straight away. And here he is, one of our stars, Mason Barber. And just like that, to his captain, they've gone from that goal line to the 30 in Tonga territory. That's still zero tackle. Winietta is held up. Chance for Tonga to get their defensive line in order here. As Kopua. Leave it pedestrian, but starts to wind into it and takes it down on the 20. And Mark drops this one off for Epoko, the big man. And just like that, inside of the 10 here. Under six minutes remain. Māori by four, looking for a few more. But it's worked out for Tonga and Sione Lesala. Great fullback play. And as soon as he put the kick in, I thought it was a smart kick if you got it in behind. But Lesala was urgent, responsive to the ball. Great fullback defensive play on your goal line. Still plenty of time for Tonga to level this one up and a chance to snatch it late. Need some players to get their hands up on the ball. Filo again hurt Pickering. Playing it away to the right edge, looking for runners to come through in the form of Compton Purcell, but it's everyone to the far touch. Just trying to slow the game down. They can't slow down too much, Tonga. They can't waste too much time here. There's four and a half left. And four points down. They've got to try and speed up the game, trying to get the ball in their hands. And try and get as much position out of this last four minutes as they can. The Māori, on the other hand, they're happy to slow it down. They're happy to watch the clock tick away. No rush at all. Walker. Tuirangi Walker for the Māori. Just ticked under four to play. Now they break through Wiki Tera. He's been close a couple of times today. We're going to make his way over this time. He's dragged down inside the 20. Here they come, Barber. Freeing them up again for Ward. He's got one already. Tonga up smartly off the line. Here we go, he Walker. Just out. Trying to spin through and score. And they do the Māori. And that could be all she wrote for Tonga here. Toby Gibson slams it down. And it was tight, buddy. Wicketetta with the initial break of some great late footwork at the line. Just an average yardage carry, you thought. Until he threw some late footwork in. Made the bust up the middle. You see it here. 
Straight out, beats the front row. He's been outstanding today from start to finish. Just too much goal line D. Gibson finds a half back. Small man spins out. Got it down with two and a half minutes to go. Two scores needed from Tonga. This just could be one too far now. They've been gallant, they've been spirited, they've been great here today, Tonga. But the Māori just had a bit too much. And now we look to the Samoa game for that result. And Samoa need to try and rack up some points against the Cook Islands to find out who will meet the New Zealand Māori in the final. Like it could all come down to this final game between Samoa and the Cook Islands to determine just who will play New Zealand Māori in the grand final. Legs up again. The capper try converted to the vice captain, Toby Gibson. And 18 to 8. Just a bridge too far now for Tonga. Just looking to fight. And their job now is to sit back, and watch the Samoa game, cheer on the Cook Islands. everything and their opportunity their chances of going to the final hinges on that game if they do get through to the grand final to play this game again and run it back against the Māori they'll know that certainly got neither of them at times they have played some of their league today just really losing her pickering was a, a difference for the Māori taking advantage. He's so good, the architect of a lot of that good play with his kicking game. He's had to, the busiest of days, Mason Barber. A few nice touches, but in the end, it is job done for the New Zealand Māori. They will contest the grand final here, Premiership Division, tomorrow at Navigation Home Stadium. They have beaten Tonga by 18 points to 8. We wait and see what happens in the next game between Samoa and the Cook Islands to decide who will go through and play these boys tomorrow.